Okay guys, in this video we're going to be animating uh, a blinking effect. So I'll show you when I click this button, I'll have it blink a certain color, okay, and a size. So that's basically what we'll be animating is color and size um, with the canvas of a widget here. Okay. So let's look at the code. The Python code is standard from my previous uh, animation videos. You just have to import, oops, what the heck was that? Just have to import the Kippy animation class, and then I'll create a new animation. Right now there's nothing in here. We'll write this code in a second. And then I'll start the animation, so anim.start, on the widget that I want to animate. Okay, the widget that I want to animate, um, if I go look at my KB code, I have basically a button here. I've created this new button class. I call it a blinking button, and it inherits from Kibby's standard button. Um, and then I just have a layout and my button here and a size and position. And then when I click it, I just want to do my animate the widget function over here. So I'll animate the widget and then I'm passing self. So self refers to my blinking button and that refers to this widget here. So I'm animating the blinking button. Okay, so let's go back to the KV code and we're going to be animating the canvas of my button. Okay, so let's work with the canvas. I'll say canvas.before, and then I'll have to give it a color, and I'll say RGBA, so I'm going to specify a color and uh, transparency. I'll say RGBA, and then maybe I want to do, I'll say self.animatedColor. So animated color is an attribute that I'm making up, so I have to give uh, animated color a value here. Let's just say pure white. So by default, my canvas will be a pure white color. Um, and now when I change this animated color property of my blinking button class, it'll automatically update the color of my canvas. So that's pretty cool. And then let's give our canvas a place to actually be drawn. So I'll say rectangle, and then I'll say size is, we'll just do self.size for now, and pause is self.pause. We'll have to update these two guys um, to make the blinking effect, but for now we'll I'll animate the color. Okay, so if I just run it right now, we'll see, okay, here's my button as before, and there's a little white outline. That white outline is my white canvas, okay? So that, that color is white, and my canvas is back there. Okay, so let's go and animate that color. So I'll work with my animation class here, and I'll say animated color, and then I'll pass a new color. So maybe I'll do red, okay? Red is... Uh, all red, no green, no blue, and we'll put transparency, well, fully transparent, okay? So now if I run my app, you can see that little red fade there. Might, might be hard to see right now. Okay, so now we need to make the, the size and position change of the canvas so, it, so it's got that big expanding effect, right? That blinking effect. Um, so size... We want the size to be changing. So I'll say size is self dot blink size. And we'll have the height. So this is the width. Okay. And the height will also be self dot blink size. And again, this blink size I'm just totally making up. So that's part of this blinking button class. So I'll say blink size. Maybe it'll start at zero. So my canvas won't really show at the start. And then I'll animate it so it grows. Okay, so let's just try animating that right now. So the position of the canvas will be screwed up, but I can definitely make it bigger by changing this blink size. So let's go here, and I'll say my animation, I want my blink size to be maybe 400. And if I run my app, I'll click it, and there you go. You saw it started at the, the bottom corner here, and it grew till it was 400 by 400 uh, pixels, I believe. Okay, so now let's center that, actually inside my button. To, to do that takes a little bit of geometry. So pause here, this goes like X position and then Y position. So to do this I can say, if I want it to be centered, I'll say self.pause zero um, plus self.size self zero over two. Okay, so what does that mean right now? Um, okay. So self.pause zero refers to the horizontal axis here, and uh, pause zero is right here. 
and then size size zero <laughs> sorry size zero is the full the full width of my widget so size zero over two is right here okay so self.pause is right here plus half the size of the widget okay so I'm centered vertic centered horizontally now I need to also center myself vertically so I'll say self.pause one plus self.pause one over two and now if I run it my effect should be starting from the center of this widget so let's see oops uh, over two so that oops self that size here my mistake all right try again there it was coming from the center of the widget okay so that's because I've got the position plus half the size and the position plus half the height okay but still that's not perfect um, because as as we're blinking as the blink size increases the canvas is increasing in size so we need to take that into account so a little bit of geometry you just do self.blink size over two subtract that from both of these and we'll run it and we can see we are centered okay and it doesn't work again because the canvas is already now that red color and fully transparent so it's easier to see maybe if I don't make it transparent all right so if I click it's out there if I click it again it it's already done animating okay so if we want to be able to click it again maybe we should bind uh, an oncomplete callback so I'll say anim dot bind oncomplete I'll say self dot reset all right then I'll say def uh, reset self and I had to take an args and my widget is uh, the second value of the args of the arguments passed in by default so I can say widget dot animated color or reset it to pure white okay and then we'll also reset the blink size to be zero so when it animates okay it should re should have reset so if I click it again boom it works all right maybe the one last thing to do is make this blinking constantly so I'll import Kivi's clock the video is pretty much over but if you want to learn a little bit more about how to use the Kibi clock, I suppose you can stick around. So from kibi.clock, import clock. And now we're just gonna say every two seconds, maybe I want this to blink. So I'll work with the onStart method. Um, onStart is a, a method that's called whenever your app is actually starting up. Okay, so we're overwriting it. That's totally fine to do. So I need to get my button widget. So I'll give this guy an ID. Actually, yeah, I'll say ID is the blinking button. Okay. And now, when I start my app up, I'll do clock.schedule interval. And so every, or I want to call the self.animate the widget function. And then maybe I want to call it every two seconds. And then let's update animate the widget so that it just it knows what the widget is so I'll say self dot root dot IDs dot what I call it the blinking button okay yep yeah. so self dot root is this guy and then dot IDs gives me a list of all the widgets with an ID and then dot the blinking button gives me this blinking button widget okay so now it should animate itself every two seconds without me clicking on things and there you have it so a blink effect, pretty nice. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Um, I think the next video will be done with the tutorials for animations. It'll just be a, a gallery and maybe I'll include a bunch of code samples. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.